How's it going guys? Before I get this video started, I want to give a quick shout out to Steven Steph Resale Killers. They are just about to get over the hump of a thousand subscribers. If you're not subscribed to them already, please go sub to them. There's nobody like them on YouTube. Uh, these two are characters, they have a lot of fun, and they buy pallets, and they have a lot of very niche specialties that I feel like everybody could learn a lot from. So I know they're doing a giveaway for their um, thousand subscribers, and they're at like 972 or so right now. So let's get them over the hump, go subscribe to them, and let's get this video started. Got a passenger with me this morning. She lost her head. I uh, bought this in an auction for pretty cheap, and I think it'll do pretty well on the website. We always seem to sell mannequins pretty well, but for now, she's just riding along in the car. I need my go juice today. Tony's here early bringing me some goodies. <laughs> well, that's the cool. September 10th, 2000 Bengals versus Brown inaugural game. Might be a hard sell after Sunday's game. Oh, I know. It's got an NFL look. One of the coolest things we've probably ever had come in here is this old bank vault like crank block. Um, I really can't find much about it online just because I don't think many of them come up for sale all that often. But there was a local wedding shop that was in an old bank and I helped them clear out a bunch of stuff and they had this and I'm like, you've got to let me help you sell this. So we brought it in, and I'm really anxious to see what it sells for. Because I could see somebody like repurposing it and making a table out of it or something, or kind of incorporating it into a bar. But I've never seen anything like it. We tower. Yeah. Here's the we. I just put everything in the box there. All right. So and then I just uh, grab this. That one too. Awesome, man. Supposed to be shooting out, lighting up, and then drive. But so, what is this thing? It's uh, it's from the '60s. It's, uh, Gilbert. I guess it's all. I guess it's all ten. The Aston Martin James Bond 007. So this this was lighting up earlier until I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> but it still drives. supposed to be shooting now, these are supposed to be lighting up, and then this goes down in the back, and then it takes off again. And then there's the uh, ejector seat. Where did you find this? A uh, good little outlet. <laughs> I think it weighed a bin? pounds. Yeah. So I got that two bucks. <laughs> cool. Sticks, awesome. So I'm in a couple books. Good? Yeah. Alright. Um, this is a uh, Boy Scouts of America. It's got the canteen little kit. Oh, that's cool. Coin. Awesome. Alright. Um, this was just like some little Star 
Star Wars boxes. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think it'll sell. Um, just a blank frame. And yeah, I haven't been able to frames. do too well with picture frames. All right. Some of the household stuff we just can't really gotcha. move. What about the artwork? Now that looks like Edie Harper to me. See, I tried to look it up because the people that I yeah. got these from had some money. Yeah. Um, and I, I think these were, are Edie Harper. I'm pretty sure, and she's a local artist that does right. really well. So I, uh, I got a buddy that's really, or I can just Google it. I can figure it out. But I'd bet See, money that I these are it. either Charlie Harper or Edie Harper. So these should do well. I took the frame apart. And then the way it was now, I've, yeah. I've got these vintage poles. Oh man! And I um, I sort of packaged them together, but and labeled them. I know last time you said that helps a little bit. Yeah. So you can leave them as is, or break them down, or do whatever you fit, feel fit. All right. Um, I prepared them up the way that I thought maybe um someone very cool man it would like them. yeah. Their wall hangers are, they're actually functional, so. Yeah, I appreciate you doing that. Some of the ones are one piece or I would have broken down. That's a beauty. I've had, I've had this one just because it said Johnny Walker on it. Oh yeah. You know, we know what our names are, so that's a beefy pole right Man, there. Man, that is a beefy pole. Now you're a baseball enthusiast, right? Yeah. Um, Ted Williams. No Wasn't kidding. he a famous player? Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. One of the greatest like, to ever play the game. He ha he must have been a big fisherman because he huh. has a line of stuff. That's cool, man. The 1983 zoo poster. It's the long one. It's got the animals. I don't know the artist. Um, um let's give this a shot. All right. Posters oh. are usually know. a no go, but the fact that it's vintage Cincinnati, Cincinnati I think it'll go. Did you just see what we sold that Star Wars poster for, man? Like 65 bucks right, or something. I, see, crazy. I saw it, the start of it. I figured yeah, it went I big. I that poster when I was a dude. Yeah. That, I was in fifth grade when Star Wars came out. I sat in the theater and would go in the morning, buy my ticket, and watch, sit there and watch it over and over. <laughs> That's awesome. You know, just stay in the theater, grade, yeah. That movie was crazy yeah. at that time. Yeah. Um, we never really know what's going to come in the door. Somebody brought this prosthetic leg no idea if it'll sell but we'll give it a shot quick bolo for you guys I got these super soaker water guns at a yard sale over the weekend I paid five bucks for the box and there's I think like ten or more of them in here and I'm gonna end up getting about a hundred bucks for the box some are going for like 25 30 somewhere going for like 10 to 15 bucks but there are some that sell for a lot more than that so old super soaker water guns just keep an eye out for them all right guys that's it for this video thank you for watching if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time